When Livia met Mike, we could tell that he was someone special. I'll repeat that line. When Livia met Mike, <laughs> we could tell that he was someone special. Livia had found that partner that we are all in search of. That person we can't be without. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Claire, and I'm Livia's mother. Oh, beautiful. Hello, and my name is Joe Calistro, Livia's father, and we are delighted to be here today. Thank you to the family and friends who have gathered here to celebrate the marriage of Livia and Michael. Livia is our youngest and only girl following her two brothers, Timio and Vincent. Growing up, she was right there in the thick of things with the boys and any of their friends that might have joined in. She could hold her own with her energy and her skill. Livia had chutzpah, oh, I'm sorry, it's confidence, and loved organizing things. It was only a year after university that she announced her move to London. It was not easy for Livia in those first few years in London, as she worked hard to find a place to live, some work that meant something to her, and get to know people there. But persistence paid off, and she landed on her feet. It helped that she had the support of a very close friend take over. <laughs> Veronique. Veronique, who had been together since preschool. Livia secured a great job, made friends, traveled, and found peace here in her new life. For those of you who don't know, Liv and I met when she was comparatively fresh off the boat. <laughs> Liv moved across here with Veronique as friends to travel Europe and see the world. And Timmy O had said to them, look, when you get to London, meet my mate Chris. He'll help you out. Chris, I'm sure it was a really difficult decision to put these two Canadians up. And uh, you had some real arm twisting to, to bring these two girls along. <laughs> When I was living in London at the time, I was in Brixton, and on a great summer's night, one of my flatmates, Tim, said, look guys, let's have a barbecue. Chris has got some new housemates in, we'll bring all of those back. That was the first time I saw Olivia, and she blew me away. Sweaty Betty leggings. <laughs> Stunning personality when she came in, I was floored, and at that moment, I knew she was the one. We talked for hours that night. Unfortunately, most of that was because she had a very slow Canadian way of speaking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we didn't actually have that much to say. <laughs> I think I was definitely more blown away with her than she was with me. Uh, at the end of the night came, there was no good night kiss, there was no exchange of numbers, wasn't even a formal handshake, and, and she left. <laughs> Thankfully, there were many more barbecues to come. As a parent, your child's wedding is a momentous milestone. When Michael was born, I experienced in that moment the overwhelming love and responsibility that a precious newborn brings. There is a flood of hopes and expectations for your child that you experience at that time. Mm -hmm. 
You also hope that your child will be as fortunate as you have been to be able to find the love of their life who will love them, support them, laugh with them, get their silly jokes, understand and forgive them when times are hard and share the challenges and rewards that life will bring whilst all the time bringing them ever closer together. COVID has had many consequences, but one unexpected one was that Leslie and I will always treasure the time that we spend with Livia during lockdown, when we really got to know what a wonderful person she was. And we, like Michael before us, also fell in love with her. Often we would speak about going away to Paris together on a spontaneous trip. And on one of these occasions we exchanged numbers, but we never really exchanged any text. And these, these encounters kind of happened over a couple of years, and I kind of thought, you know, this was a chance that was slipping away. Fast forward to one of the best things that ever happened to me, perforating my eyeball. <laughs> this gave me a story. I give you this ring to symbolise my love for you. I give you this ring to symbolise my love for you. Together we are united and unbreakable. Together we are united and unbreakable. Today and for all days. Today and for all days. I give you this ring to symbolise my love for you. I give you this ring to symbolise my love for you. Together we are united and unbreakable. Together we are united and unbreakable. Today and for all of our days. Today and for all of our days. Liv came round after one of the surgeries. Chris was in the room and I put on the best rendition of this tale that I'm sure most of you are bored to sit <laughs> hearing about. I had photos, I had the graphic, graphic details. <laughs> And at that point, Liv turned green and left. And in my drunken logic, I thought the only explanation for that is because she cared. <laughs> <laughs> Saying it out loud, I think she might have just been a bit squeamish. <laughs> Vero chased her out and kind of set her in. And when she came back in on that night, I said to her, look, should we go for a chat? And we went and we sat on the roof, on this roof terrace overlooking London. Fireworks had died down. We talked for ages. And at one point I said to her, we would always talk about those trips to Paris did you ever mean to? Like, were you ever interested in doing that? And she said, yes, but the timing was never quite right. That was the night where we kind of realized that actually we did like each other, which was really nice for me to get that, you know, recognition. <laughs> Three months later, we went for our first date. She, she's not that quick. It is amazing how people find each other. Livy and Mike grew up thousands of miles apart with loving families and somehow found each other. We can ask what brings people together. John Nash comments in the movie, A Beautiful Mind. I have made the most important discovery of my life. It is only in the mysterious equation of love that any logic or reason can be found. We are grateful that our special little girl and now loving young lady found Mike. Love brought them together. It's with great honor, privilege and pride that I announce to you, Mr. and Mrs. Silcock.
I then bought a flat in Canada Water. Uh, I was looking to, to view it and we'd only been here in a couple of months, so I had a very kind of awkward conversation of saying to Liv, if we're ever to move in together, this will be you know, the flat we move into. Uh, I was worried she would be overwhelmed, but thankfully buying a flat in a place called Canada Water with a local Italian was enough to tie Liv to home. <laughs> and we fell in love with that place and we've been so fortunate to host many of you there and, and again, build this life for us. Uh, there and we, we couldn't be happier. The reason I've told these kind of snippets is one person once said to me, if you, if you want to know what it feels like to be in love with somebody, can you imagine never seeing them again? And when I was thinking about that for the purpose of writing this speech, I was thinking about those times in Brixton at the barbecues where we would talk and she would go and the thought of that ever being the last time I'd ever see her devastated me. And I'm just so thankful that we, you know, persevered through that, finally went on a date and here we are married and I can't imagine my life without you. You, you truly are fantastic. We met Michael for the first time in December of 2018. The four of us came to London for Christmas while Michael spent Christmas with his family in Durham. Then we all met up on neutral ground in Ghent, Belgium, a couple of days before New Year's Eve. We love Mike and all that he has become. He's worked hard to become an associate with the law firm, yet he never lost sight of what is important in life. Mike is all about family, and that is what we love dearly about him. Yeah, then we move on to the most important part, which is live. What a lady. What a vision tonight, I think we can all agree. Uh, Michael's never spoken. <laughs> Michael's never spoken as highly about any individual, thankfully, in his life. He was harping on about you for ages. He's, oh mate, I'm about to do a terrible accent. <laughs> oh mate, I love her. She's the one. She's absolutely mint. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> now, clearly he was so smitten with Liv that he just couldn't stop going on about her. And you know, after the fourth time of meeting her, Michael finally realised that we had met. Um, <laughs> but yeah, with each time I could see just the absolute love you have for each other. And not only that, you're best friends. So I'll leave it at that as a short speech, but can I just say, there are tall ships, there are short ships, but the best ships are friendships. So cheers to that, everyone. <laughs> We will be there to support Mike and Livia today, tomorrow, and in the future. Our home will be their home, and Mike's family will be an extension of ours. We wish them the very best as they journey together.